in, in this video, I'm going to talk about taking KML files and importing them into a program called ForeFlight. If you're a pilot and you happen to have ForeFlight, you recognize this screen here. Um, I don't care how you get the KML file onto your iPad. You may get an email when you save it to your iPad by downloading the attachment, the file, or if you plug in an SD card in the side and then you copy them over. It uh, doesn't matter. There have been a lot of different ways of getting the KML file on your iPad. Now, if you happen to, for whatever reason, end up with a KMZ file, you can see there's one right here. Uh, KMZ is, is just a compressed version of a KML, kind of a zip file, and you can convert that from a KMZ to a KML by changing the extension on the file. You see, like in this example, there's a .KMZ. You change that to a .zip, a Z-I-P, and then you can run any standard uh, zip uh, utility to uh, um, expand that and uh, extract the KML file out of it. So, it, for this example here, I've got a folder called GFFFY21, and in, in here I've got uh, a KMZ file, as you can see here, um, and I've got uh, two, three, four files that have a little blue icon next to them. Those are KML files that are compatible with ForeFlight. So what I'm going to do, um, the first first thing you can do is by just selecting the file, you can actually see the contents. Then up in the upper right, there's a share, and then you can share it to ForeFlight that way. And you'll get a dialog box here. Select custom content, custom map layers, and it imported it successfully. The other way you can do it is by holding your finger down on the file and then you get a menu over here and then you can select share and then you can select oops didn't mean to touch that you can select for flight and then custom content custom map layers and that imported properly so you would do that for all of the KML files that you have I've got a couple more here. I've got the red front and I've got the vol. I've already got those imported, so I'm not going to waste time and go through that same process. So once you get them all imported, you can get rid of the files folder screen and you can bring up ForeFlight. Now, how do you display them on the map? Um, how you change what you see on the map is over here in this menu here in the upper left. Um, you can look at a sectional, you can look at IFR charts, you can do a lot of different things. Well, on the bottom right, way on the bottom, here are the four files that we imported that are KML files, basically map overlays. And you select those one at a time. To bring them onto the screen. And you notice they stay highlighted. And there you go. You've got the, the four KML files. If I were to shrink this a little bit, you can see here. Um, this vulnerability box was an initial one. I think that's going to change. It's probably going to come, come down here. But this gives you an example. You can see how you can bring those in and overlay them. And as you expand and contract the map, these move with you. So they're not a static overlay. They're tied to a lat long. So once you have them there, uh, you can obviously come back up here. And if I don't want the, uh, the, the, the lanes, I can select the lanes and unhighlight it. Now the lanes go away. And you can do the same thing for all of the, uh, get rid of the blue line. You can get rid of the vulnerary box. And you can get rid of the red line. So that's how you 
take them so that they don't display. Now, if you want to get rid of them off your iPad, let's say we're done with this exercise and it's just junk laying around and I'm running out of space, where do you find those files? Well, you go to More, Custom Content, Custom Map Layers, and then you see the four files there, the overlays. You can either delete them one at a time by sliding to the left and clicking Delete. You can select Edit and then press the red circle and you'll get a dialog box to uh, confirm the delete. Or you can select this option at the bottom to delete all the, the map layers that are displayed. A lot of different ways to delete them. So that'll get them off, off of your computer if you decide you want to do that.